we live in Bavaria now. So now we're going to tell you about our highlights in Bavaria. Okay, the highlight definitely of Bavaria for me was meeting our Estonian friend. So Goethe is famous for his magic tricks. He can make things disappear very easily. Many things disappear. Our Estonian friend was one of the most epic people we've ever met. He was game for anything and everything. We went for swims together in the ice cold snow. This is the swim squad, ranging from all around the world. Estonia, how are you feeling? I'm, I can't feel any better than this. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, lovely, lovely. Here we have the a cameraman. The cameraman. <laughs> What do you think of your workaways? I think they're crazy. <laughs> Husband, are you getting in? Uh, I might. I might. We'll you see. You can do it. Piers in the room. Estonia, in you go. Oh. Okay. I should have gone in first. Why didn't I go in first? Hello. Estonians are also known to eat um, 400 gram chocolate bars for breakfast. Good morning. What are we having for breakfast? Estonia! Estonia! Dum dum dee dum 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 dee dum. Wow. Tonight I'm cooking for the boys and I have made them potatoes three ways because we were limited with the ingredients. We had potatoes, we had potatoes and bread. So I made them potatoes by potatoes. Potatoes on a little bit of mozzarella and then potatoes on bread. Not my finest cooking moment. When we went shopping for chocolate, no bar was big enough for this Estonian. From one chocolate connoisseur to another, Bri went and just lost himself with the Christmas fathers. Like, I've never seen Bri so happy, and he just made such a good reason for actually having to buy the Christmas father chocolate too. Bri is very responsible. Celebrating Christmas. <laughs> and I'm helping the planet. Do you know what the time is? What do you want it to be? Mountain time! We kind of just drove in the middle of nowhere and this road was blocked off. So plan one changed and we had to adopt plan two which was just drop the cuatro wherever it would go. Cuatro, cuatro, cuatro! This is the most famous vehicle in all of Europe. <laughs> What's this car called? Cuatro, cuatro! Cuatro! <laughs> what you find there, Brad? Say no. We've literally just pulled the Quattro on the side of the road and we are about to go for... <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> just a hike. <laughs> we just started hiking next to ski lift and um, we just started climbing the most beautiful, beautiful mountain and as we crested each peak just another one came into view and then they became bigger and bigger and we ended up with this beautiful, beautiful summit view. Woo! This is so great! Gert, how do you feel right now? It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> how do you feel, husband? I feel amazing! Yeah! We summited this one second the one behind it first and now we are on this bad boy over here how are you feeling Marge? I feel like God has literally taken one of those sips and he is sprinkling uh, ice, no. ice and sugar on that we just put in a train from um, Bavaria, Germany and then back in Austria and I'm just so happy to be back in Austria just look at this wonderful meal I've had like a bread hangover I think I can't eat bread for a couple of days but this bread looks so good so maybe I'll change my mind look at the stuff oh delicious 
Anyway, <laughs> we're going to join in with us to have a talent show night. He did the magic trick, and Brian and I did a little bit of whoop nay nay. And oh my goodness, like the crowd got super involved. It was so epic. <laughs> So I think if we stay here any longer, we're going to be charged for the night. Um, we've been here about five hours in this coffee shop, and now's a great time for us to tell you about the awesome time we had in Obertsdorf and the coffee shops we went to over there. So the locals have told us to check out the Blower House. The Blau House is literally bubbling in creativity. If Father Christmas's elves or deers or magical creatures needed any space of inspiration, I'm sure they would definitely go there. It is wonderful. So Brian has literally just sat me down and had a little chat with me and I just feel like he needs to, to really communicate this to the viewers at home. My love, can you talk to us about dress codes? This is not acceptable. <laughs> What is not acceptable about it? Canterbury sleeves with a guy shirt and a buff with a t-shirt and some form of headwear. <laughs> it's so cold. Did you call that a hair a hair shirt? <laughs> what is that? It's called a side plan. <laughs> <laughs> we also found another really cozy coffee shop and we spent lots of time there. Second coffee of the day, Brian. Yeah, looks great. We had a lot of fun walking the streets of Oberstorfen. Oberstorf. 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 So behind me is Oktoberfest. So I'm good, hey? Gerted, we definitely have to try these. I wonder if Santa Claus is going to give me some of this in my Christmas stock. And uh, we saw some really cool uh, traditional Austrian and German clothing as well. Here we have some traditional gear. As you can see, this lady is clearly married because her bow is tied on the right. Every way the bow is tied, whether it's the right, the middle, the left, or the back has a different meaning. Pretty darn interesting. And this is for the gentleman. Check out this cool Christmas tree behind so we've just told you guys about our epic day in the town of the Big O, but it wasn't all coffee shops and wandering around. No, we had to walk three k's to get to the train station to get us there. And then we knew, oh my gosh, we have to walk three k's from the train station. And then it was like evening time and we started to panic because there's no way we're going to make the train. And then we literally had one of our most epic, epic, epic train moments ever. I don't think you're ready for it. What just happened? So we made about five kilometers in five minutes <laughs> to make our train and we looked about 300 meters away and we said there's our train and it, we could see it pulling in and it just stopped. We ran and as it was pulling away I clicked the knob and it just opened and we just jumped on the train. We haven't bought tickets and I think we're in first class but we made it. <laughs> so if we don't get fined this is the coolest story ever. <laughs> If we do get fined, it's still pretty cool, and it's worth it. And we hope we're on the right train. We think we are. It was epic. After our really, really cool train ride, we just had one of the best moments of like discovering life. So, Margs, husband, um, people say that traveling isn't all that glamorous. Yes. But I don't know, I think this is its own kind of glamorous. I think this is awesome. This is Why don't you tell us what we're doing? Amazing. So we're walking three kilometers from the train station to our, um, our, our host's house. And like the most epic thing is because we're fit and just excited, <laughs> we, we're not scared to walk three kilometers. And we're taking in the stars and the night sky and the last bit of the color of the, the day. What a great, great time to be alive. Watch out for the car. Brian, why did you take me to Bavaria in the first place? So I decided to drive Mogs all the way to Bavaria to um, brush up my carpentry skills and do some woodwork and, and construction and she ended up really enjoying it. Hey Bri, what have you made? So I've just made this. By hand. Pretty good, eh? No, I didn't. <laughs> I actually met <made> this. <laughs> that is just as beautiful. Congratulations, Bri. Just, 
Yeah. Who did the grating there? Because that's some killer grating. Yeah. Who did the plumbing? This guy. <laughs> and this guy, just explain to us what you did here. Oh, but come see the window sill that my wife made. <laughs> That not gorgeous. So it was really fun to get involved and get our hands dirty in some practical stuff and not just watch it off YouTube. So we're using every single machine under the sun from table saws to planers to um, jigs and you, you name it, we were using it. So we had a lot of fun. It's freezing cold traveling around Germany. We have to get to Italy, but just I can't bear the cold anymore. I'm going to show you how to keep warm in winter. When you're outside by the train station, it's all about getting the cardio up. Just gotta keep moving. Find a bench. Get up on the bench. Ah. Chase your back. It's the end of the day, and we've spent six hours in a coffee shop. But you know, it took cases that we haven't seen the whole of Brevin or whatever this place is. Like one thing I learned from my mom and my dad is just be where you're at and do what you need to do. Vies restach. So we have chilled for six hours because we needed to chill. But now we're going to go explore the stunning Christmas market behind us and then we're going to get on a bus at midnight and then we'll be in Italy. Oh, but before we taste some really interesting food, we did have some Estonian food and it wouldn't be right to end this video without saying Eita Emma, which means thank you mom. <laughs> so thank This one's had too much coffee. <laughs> We've had a lot of coffee. It's been a very, very interesting stay here in Bavaria and I cannot wait to get to Italy. Whoppa! So we went through a big debate now as to whether to go to a restaurant, whether to go to spa, and we're so glad that we went to spa and we went to spa and look we still get to have all the benefits of the market 